Hey, what's up my beautiful sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Another video coming at you bright and early Saturday morning. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. Today is what? The 19th, I think. The 19th of November. Bright and early. I'm giving you this one. Couple of cricketing stories that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I was actually reading an article and I saw where, you know, they were talking about Nicholas Puran and three IPL teams that probably could go into a bidding war for his services as much as how he was not up to par last year. So we're going to talk about that plus the, I, uh, the ICC T20 ranking um, rankings. We have that uh, where the bowlers are concerned and also the batsmen. Uh, <laughs> sad to say we don't have any West Indians anywhere close to the top 10 where the batting is concerned. A couple of them doing their thing with the ball, but not too good at all. Going to talk about it, my peeps, and going to share with you guys um, the players that would have picked up the most um, points going towards their ICC rankings coming out of the T20 World Cup. So make sure you give us a listening ear until the end. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, before we go down into the first story, my peeps, just to let you know that... Um, in a little bit from now, I will be posting another video giving you guys an update on what's going on in that warm-up game between West Indies and um, the the New South Wales um, mixed team over there. So you can just uh, can just keep an eye out for that one. All right. So let's get down into the Nicholas Puran story first. So as we know. Nicholas Puran, he has been released and, uh, well, he was released by his IPL uh, franchise and, you know, I, I am actually on a website here where they are talking about three teams that probably could benefit from his services and uh, from his service and, you know, the Calcutta Knight Riders, KKR, they are talking about, um, the, you know, they could probably pick him, up, um, pick him up. They would have released Shelton Jackson, Baba and Sam Billings. You know, and we know that Nicholas Poor and if he if they should pick him up to replace any of these guys, he would be able to keep wickets. And based on what they are saying here, he would definitely be good to bolster the middle order. Um, let me know what you guys think as it relates to Puran going to the Calcutta Knight Riders. Do you guys see that happening? Uh, he would probably be what the third West Indian over there now. Uh, we we are they already have. Andre Russell and Sunil Narayan. So do you guys think they would take a chance on, 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 on uh, Nicholas Puran? The next team that they have here is the Titans. And as we know, they are the defending champions, captained by Pandya. Now, they would have released a couple of their players. And, you know, Puran is another player that they are saying that could probably join up. You know, um, they have actually they have actually part part um parted ways with, uh, well they, they actually have the two wicket keepers, uh, you know Saha and Matthew Wade, but neither of the two of them really did anything last last um year or last IPL. The same thing can be said of Nicholas Puran, but you know he, he, it's a team that they are saying that probably. They could they could take a look at um they, 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 that team probably could take a look at Puran and the Sunrise of Hyderabad the team that he was released from is the next team they are saying they would have let him go to free up some money you know to add to their purse but they probably could could resign him for a smaller fee especially seeing that the move didn't work out last year so those are the three teams that they are think that um I see they they are saying that Nicholas Puran probably could play for in the upcoming staging of the IPL so just let me know um, guys what you think about that uh, whether or not um, Nicholas Puran will be picked up by any of these teams all right um going down into the next story now my peeps you know coming out of the T20 World Cup the ICC rankings you know that is something that quite a few people usually um, look forward to and I must say that, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting, my viewers and subscribers, because, you know, a couple of teams, they have a, a couple of players have actually gone ahead and they have moved up. So in terms of the top 10, this is what the top 10 is looking like for the batting uh, in, the, in, the, in the T20. Nisanka from uh, 
from from so uh from Sri Lanka is at number 10 at number 9 we have Aaron Finch at number 8 we have Glenn Phillips from New Zealand at number 7 we have um the South African here Riley is there at number 6 we have Dawood Milan and at number 5 we have Aiden Markham number 4 Devin Conway Number three, Barbara Zam is still holding strong. Mohamed Rizwan is at number two. And at number one, we have Sir Kumar Yadav, who had a very, very good um, T20 tournament. He, he wasn't able to guide India to the, uh, to the title, but he definitely did well throughout. So no, um, no, no, no Virat Kohli in the top ten, my peeps. As a matter of fact, you would realize that we did, you didn't hear any West Indians name there so let me tell you the closest west indian that we have uh is at number 20 and that is actually brandon king number 21 nicholas puran so those are the guys that are closest brandon king is at 20 nicholas puran is at 21 and we would have to go all the way down to see another west indian ravman powell at 55 and then we make us all the way down to 74 is kyle mayers you understand and um shimran hitmaya based on what i'm seeing here is all the way down to 99 um not playing a lot of t20 internationals but definitely not where he wants to be when he comes on to the to his um to his international career you understand uh in terms of the bowlers now my peeps let me just give you guys a quick update uh as it relates to what the bowling is looking like at number 10 we have um you know tikishana at number nine we have anrit nakia mujib is at number eight at number seven we have zampa shamsi is at six sam current who had a very very good uh t20 tournament is at number uh he's at number five josh hazelwood is at number four at number three we have adil rashid number two we have rashid khan and number one, we have Hasaranga as per usual. So there you have it, my viewers and subscribers. That is what the, the, the ranking is looking like. Um, we don't really have any West Indian anywhere close. Um, Akil Hussein is the only man. I think he's at number 13. And then the other guys are all the way down at the bottom. So, you know, gone are the days when we would see... The lights of um, Sunil Narayan, Samuel Badri, both men rotating number one and number two slots. And then we'd have the lights of Chris Gale and, and, and all of the other top class batsmen um, doing their thing. You know, um, that is just what it is, my viewers and subscribers. That is where our cricket is at. So we just have to work it like that. Now, coming out of the I am um, out of the, 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 the did I, did I say IPL? No, coming out of the T20 World Cup. These are the players that would have um, gotten the most points. You know, Alex Ailes with 94, moving all the way up to number 12. And the rank, um, in the rankings, we have um, Sean Masood. He went up 63. Um, we have Tucker went up 26. And Raza, 22. And we have Ahmed went up 21 points. No, uh, that's actually for the batting where the bowling is concerned. Now, let me just quickly give you the bowling. We have um, Nasheen, um, Nasim Shah. Uh, he's actually the highest um, in terms of who would have picked up points. 79. Uh, Wayne Parnell, 39. Arshdeep Singh, he had 20, uh, 32 moving. Uh, Chris Wokes, 23. And Shine Shah, Freedy, 21. So that is what it's looking like in terms of the players that would have picked up the most, um, you know, with, with, with points. Where the all-rounders all round part is concerned, that would be Dan and Jaya, the silver, getting plus 67 points. Ben Stokes getting 279 points. Uh, Frilick, John Frilick getting 36 points. And, um, you know, Colin getting 33. Bass, Dylan um, Bass. Uh, getting uh, plus 22 so that is what it is looking like my viewers and subscribers coming out of the t20 world cup just thought i would i thought that i would just go ahead and give you guys this video real quick so you can know what the rankings looking like just know that the west indians we are nowhere near at all except akil hussein who is at 13 brandon king 20 and nicholas puran 21 in the batting 
um, side of things. So yeah, that is pretty much it, my viewers and subscribers. We're gonna leave it right here for now, and you can keep your eyes closed to the channel as I will be giving you guys another update pretty soon as it relates to how that warm-up game is going between West Indies and that team over there in Australia. Big up on yourself, my peeps. Stay safe until we touch base again.